Hello, welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun. It's not really welcome back, it's welcome along, because this is the first time I've ever recorded this game, despite playing it back in the day. So yeah, I, I never finished it, and I've decided I, I want to finish it now, I want to catch up on all the Pokemon games. Um, but I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I honestly, I have no idea what the current situation is, where we're going, anything, and I also don't have any videos to refer to, because obviously this was not recorded in any way shape or form okay i vaguely remember now oh i can't <laughs> i'm so used to being able to fly from the map and this is another reason why instead of working my way backwards through these games i wanted to actually um no hang on this isn't right i wanted to start with the oldest one so that i kind of gained uh features as i went oh my god i haven't missed this a there we are i think this is the last island though i'm not too far off the end Oh yeah, I forgot they ruined this music, didn't they, in this game? My god. It's like the bit um, in The Simpsons where Bart hires a car and Millhouse is there just turning the knobs, making it go up and... Like that. <laughs> Veteran Harry? Wait, that's that's from the Yogg's cast. Or, or he, as I believe he would be, prefer to be known. Ugh, this moves. I'd actually forgotten all about them, and what a blissful existence that was. <laughs> what's the deal? Hey, what's the deal with the Lowland kids? That's not making the final cut <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> the advantage of watching these things live, you get to, you get to see all the jokes that are too crap to make the edit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put that in now just to advertise the live stream. Fuck's sake. I wonder how many viewers Ultra Sun Stroke Ultra Moon has at this exact moment on, on Twitch. There's a few people doing it. That's exciting, isn't it? There's someone with a really poor fucking layout of streaming this. Jesus Christ. He's got the screens vertically and just gaps down the side. What the fuck is wrong with it? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Oh, he's got Pokerus as well, this guy. Nice. I don't think Pokerus exists in um, Gen 9, does it? Which is a shame. Because it made EV training even easier. It was relatively easy, just but like I remember the the good old days of you used to get Pokerus and Horde battles. This was Gen Six, and you could like you could completely EV train a stat in five battles. It was brilliant. I've got three bug types on my team. I'm just looking. <laughs> it's just Pokemon I wanted to use basically because I played through Moon, and this is just Pokemon I thought, hey, it'd be cool if I use them. Malamar, Golisopod mainly. I always seem to use Horluchas at some point just because they're they're cool. Tyranitar I hadn't used since Gen 2, so I wanted to do one of them again. Vicavol looks cool, and it is. And Vol this is the start of my love affair with Volcarona. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, he's learning an earthquake. Yeah, I need to go to the Mart. Marty! Right, Scott! <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. That was uh, the impressions hour. <laughs> it's over. It's finished already. Here we are. Let's, use this. let's, uh, let's break out the old earthquake. Break the quake. Mmm, that's good earthquake. <laughs> oh no, this. <laughs> Luckily, they they um they sorted this in uh, Ultra Sun and Moon. In Sun and Moon, they could continually call for allies, so it, it made catching Pokemon almost fucking impossible. Luckily, in this game, they fixed it so that they could only call for allies once, which is much 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 more manageable. <laughs> But Lord, is it much more manageable? Yes, is the answer to that question. Uh, well, well, earthquake again. I don't know if Mawile's got sturdy. It's normally got intimidate. Or is that no? That's Mega Mawile. Perhaps. Okay, well, that hasn't got sturdy. Mawile's crap. That's why they gave it a Mega Evolution. I wish they'd bring uh, the Mega Evolutions back as like just evolutions, even if they're not going to bring back Megas. Do you know? Just because there are some Pokemon that just really need it. Sableye, Mawile, for example. Oh no, but some of them were stage 3 Pokemon, or, or stage 2, to use the trading card game terminology, so... You're, they're, only, they're only ever three steps in an evolution thing. At least bring back Mega Mawile. The ones that aren't, like, wouldn't be a fourth stage, bring them back at least. Give me my fucking Mega Kangaskhan back again. <laughs> no, but then how would you balance only being able to use one per battle? Oh, I wasn't planning on escaping. I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me. <laughs> but now you're not because you're dead. 
Let's not fall to our deaths. That would be a downer, wouldn't it? We ought to introduce her to Serena. Maybe she'll be better at contest or something like that. It's just a crow. They haven't been trained to fly into your towers. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you go to heaven, brother crow. <laughs> well done. You ran past some crows. And you left them to attack me. <laughs> oh no, it's the way. Oh, it's the howl waving. It's back again. God damn it. Let's be nice. Hee <laughs> hee. It's Michael Jackson. Back from the dead. And what is it he wants? <laughs> Yay! Ah, oh, here we go then. Happy times. And we get to go to the evolution dimension because it's the good old days. Yay! <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Back when evolutions meant something and it took a long time. Look at this. Hell yeah. <laughs> shinka, 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 shinka. <laughs> Tyranitar does not want to learn any moves. Give up on not learning no moves. Um, hang on, I don't know. Yes, Nad Strim. Now I get to hurt my own team when I switch them in. Yay! <laughs> right, where was I? Ah, yes. I was killing you. None can withstand. Like a, next time I fight a Baldor, it'd be like. Baldor's sturdy. Baldor survived with one hit, but Tyranitar's too bloody strong, so he died anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna pet my Tyranitar. I literally never do this, but I'm gonna do it now. Because I want to pet a Tyranitar. Who wouldn't? Oh, what are you doing down there? Looks like I've literally never looked at this screen. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that is funny. I want to go up. How can I, why do I, oh, I don't, I have no idea what's going on guys. Help. Help. I don't, I don't, I, I can't move it. I don't know what to do. I, this was too much. I, I've made a mistake ever coming to this screen. Phew, that was a close one. We almost took care of our Pokemon for a second there. We found a Nuga and on that bombshell, it's time to end. Oh, hang on, I'm pressing R to save like it's a switch. Next time we'll carry on through Vast Pony Canyon and whatever it is that we're going towards. I assume it's a shrine. A few people have mentioned that, but then we'll do that. Oh, look, I forgot to upgrade my, uh, update my underlay, but I'll do that um, for the start of next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Ah, now this is no good, is it? Um, right, why are you so big? <laughs> I did have some issues with the blinking... Uh... And I accidentally resized the canvas because I misread what a, I misunderstood what a control did in OBS. I need to check the other ones as well now. Fucking hell. I'm going to do this before I go anywhere because otherwise I'll, I will just forget. Oh, oh, oh no. There's other things. Oh shit. No, all my bloody. Uh... Oh no. Oh crap. Okay, I'm going to do this afterwards. Go away.